He's very spoiled. <laughs> Wouldn't you spoil this dog if you look at him? <laughs> <laughs> I chose a cockapoo because they are easy to train, but they're also fun, loving, energetic, and they love people. We had really good experience of uh, cockapoos. My friend has got a cockapoo. They're just so full of life. He's just happy all the time, you know, he's so positive. We love the energy that Cockapoo has and the Poodle's really, really clever and the Spaniel's really energetic and it really fits into our lifestyle. We love going out and about in the outdoors and walking and so we wanted a dog that was active but also play around the house with us as well. People quite often forget that they are actually a crossbreed. This is two really active breeds put together and you don't quite know how that mix is going to work out. So the main thing I'd say to someone getting a cockapoo is make sure it fits into your lifestyle. A cockapoo's got so much energy and loves that mental stimulation. But also think about those times where you might be out for the day. Cockapoos are fun, friendly, energetic, and that's exactly what I was looking for, actually. I think we're very fortunate that I can take a dog to work or my girlfriend's parents will be able to look after him for the day. It was also a consideration for uh, myself and for Josh that we needed hypoallergenic dogs. Some cockapoos are hypoallergenic if they inherit the non-shedding poodle coat, but then they might inherit the cocker spaniel coat, which means that they would shed, so they don't necessarily become hypoallergenic. So new owners have to be really aware that if that's what you're buying them for, you'd be better off just going and getting a poodle. When they're good, they're fantastic for an active family that wants a dog to play games, to do lots and lots of exercise with, and that doesn't have an off switch. Owners are always surprised that cockapoos are on the go all the time, and they never seem to grow up. Having Rocco has really changed our lives because it means that we do so much more as a family. Um, he gives us a good reason to sort of all go out. Archie's definitely changed our life. He's such a personality around the house. I think me and Em's have always had such an active lifestyle, but he really complements that. I go to places that I would never go to normally. Whenever I feel nervous and like sad, I go to him and like I, he licks me, I hug him, and then I just feel better. Going to the beach is kind of one of the highlights of the weekend. I mean, try to do that every weekend. And it's just such a nice feeling when you come home and he's there. Archie's needs over time have changed. From when he was a puppy, he really needed that attention. He really constantly needed to be around us. As he's grown older, he's much more comfortable on his own. During the day whilst we work, he's happy to take himself off to a different room, chill out on the sofa. He wants to play more, um, which is really nice. So keeping him occupied is probably the main thing. He just wants to do more and, and be out more. He never stops eating. <laughs> When he was a puppy, he would have like a 20 minute hyper mode and then he'd have like a 30 minute sleep then another 20 minute hyper mode where he'd just go crazy. Cockapoos always seem to be up for fun and up for games and up for play. You have to manage them all the way through their lives, make sure you give them plenty of socialisation, habituation when they're younger. When Archie was a puppy, creating that bond, I think, through training really helped. When he was a puppy, it was very much around bonding with him, training and socialisation to enrichment. So he does agility and he absolutely loves that. So in those adolescent and young adult years, you've got to spend time training them, keeping them amused with interactive problem solving toys. They've got these great brains and they need to be kept occupied. Barkley in three words, energetic, bossy, and cheeky. <laughs> Adventurous, loving. <laughs> Arch. <laughs> Archie. Fluffy, and as well I find him crazy, because sometimes when you stroke his, his eyes go like that. Joshy sometimes struggled with a little bit of anxiety going back to school, and I think having Rocco has really helped with that. He's been a good distraction, and Josh has even said, you know, having Rocco here, I'm happy and I feel calm. He tells me what he wants, he finds a way to communicate with me. I would say to anyone thinking of getting a cockapoo, just to have a real good think. It's a massive commitment. The first few weeks of getting a puppy is really tough. 
do your research, but make sure you are really ready. Just part of the family now, isn't he? Yeah. He's just part of the family is Josh. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say to him. I'm just saying That's more important than me. Maybe. <laughs> a good cockapoo is absolutely fantastic and they make any family complete. Cockapoos are the best.